So it's going to happen sooner or later if it hasn't mm-hmm. already. Something's going to happen during a Google Meet that you need to edit what was out. That? I think she farted. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you're going to do, if it's something inappropriate, uh, you're going to go ahead and forward that to the administrator so uh, we can go through with uh, uh, the discipline procedure for that. Um, but then uh, you had all this great content going on before the disruption happened, and you want to make sure uh, that you can use all that great content. You can upload it and share it with students that couldn't be in that Google Meet. Uh, for their benefit because it was just like the best class you ever had. Uh, So we know it's going to happen sooner or later. So it's going to be so easy for you to clip this out, check it out. So the first thing you're going to do is click on the start button on your computer and let's just type in video. So you should have video editor is an app on there is super simple and easy to use but this is going to get the job done and do it nice and quickly Uh, so let's go ahead and open video editor let's click new video project and then we're going to drag our google meet video in there so you've already gotten the notification in your email and it said hey here it is so you're going to click download to have it on your computer now that it's downloaded on your computer We've hit a new project, we've named our video project, and now we're going to grab that download of your Google Meet and drag and drop it to your project library. So drop it right there. Now it's imported into our video editing software. Let's make this a little bit bigger for you. And you have tiles at the bottom, so it's kind of like a PowerPoint or Google Slides. So let's go ahead and grab our Google Meet and drop it right down here. So there we go. I can see this one is 1 minute and 21 seconds long. And I need to trim off the beginning because that's where the inappropriate thing happened. So I'm going to select that clip so it has the blue line underneath it. And I'm going to head over and I have a bunch of tools here. I can add a title, um, trim, split. So let's go ahead and trim. So click the trim button. Uh, Starting on the left, we have uh, reverse arrow, we have a play arrow, uh, and then we have next frame. So we can move through it frame by frame if we need, or we can grab our playhead right here. So this white lollipop, I guess is what I'll call it, that's going to be your playhead. So it's going to scrub through your entire video. Underneath that, we have the in point, I-N point. So this is where your video will begin. So we drag that blue box, so we cut out anything that we don't need at the beginning. That could be anything from your students getting in and just talking to you first thing in the morning to something inappropriate. Same thing at the end, so we're going to grab our end point and move it around to cut out any of the chit chat at the end of class. We can check to see what we've done here by hitting the play button, and it'll play from where we have our end point and stop at our out point here so when we're done hit done and now we can see it used to be one minute and 21 seconds now our video is a minute and 13. what if the disruption happens in the middle of your class so let's select our clip so it's underlined blue now let's go to the split so now we can drag our playhead around So let's move it right here to the middle and hit done. And now we have two clips in there. If we need to completely cut that part out, I split the clip right before the incident happened. I select clip number two and I'm going to split it one more time. So I know the disruption happened and it took about 10 seconds. And so I'm going to hit done. So now I have this 10 second clip right here. That's the disruption. Hit the trash can. And if we want to preview it, we can do right here. We can hit the play button and start right there and preview our entire clip to make sure that we cut out everything we need to. When it's finished, top right hand corner, finish video. Let's go ahead at the highest resolution we can. So it's probably going to be 1080 there. Don't worry about more options. We'll leave hardware accelerated encoding going. Hit export. 
as soon as that bar fills up, you're ready to go, and you can upload your newly edited video back to Google Classroom.